let's solve some word problems. <clears throat> let's focus on uh, some word problems that have to do with money and interest. Because everyone has some interest in money, right? All right. We have um, an investor. His name is Abe. And Abe has invested 1500 US dollars. Uh, part he invested at 6%, the other part he invested at 3%, and he earned a, a grand total of $129 per year. <clears throat> that's, um, that's not a lot, but there it is. So how much did he invest at what rate? Meaning, of this percentage, of fifteen hundred dollars, how much of it went to six percent? How much of it went to three percent rate? So let's uh, take that question, and we'll use a graph. The graph is going to really help out. And what we have is our problem. Our problem is going to look something like wait, and our, uh, our total earned. Sorry, our total earned is one hundred twenty-nine. Total is one. Okay, so what we need to do is need to get our equation out here, 06x plus um, 0 0.03, so we multiply rate times amount invested, so 0 0.03 times 1500 minus x equals... $129. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not too happy with these decimal points here. <clears throat> so I'm going to multiply both sides by 100 to get rid of those decimals. So now it's just 6x plus 3, 1500 minus x equals 129. Uh, 12,900 and so we can uh, go ahead and multiply this. This is 4,500 minus 3x and so it's going to be, then we'll subtract 4,500 from this side and subtract 4,500 from this side giving us 8,400 on that side and the 3x minus 3x gives us 3x equals uh, 8,400 so we're going to divide both sides by 3 and 3 into 8,400 I know we're getting small, it's getting smaller here. Uh, two, that's six, uh, sorry, six, that's uh, 24, it's 28. And um, bring down the 24 and the zero. All right, so three goes into 8,400, 2,800 times. So that is the value of x. x equals 28. Hundred, so twenty hundred is x, and we could just uh, go ahead and multiply that out and see what it looks like. So uh, point zero six times twenty eight hundred Uh, that can't be right. 